We've gathered here this afternoon as family and as friends to witness and to share in a most joyful occasion the uniting in marriage of Sarah Elizabeth Bennett and Preston Christopher Pinkapank. Sarah and Preston have been looking forward to this day, November the 10th, 2018, for quite some time. They've been thinking about it, talking about it, praying about it, dreaming about it, planning and preparing for it. And together they chose this date many months ago, declaring their love for one another and making known their desire to share their lives together as husband and wife. And we feel extremely blessed, very honored that you have requested our presence here this afternoon to hear and to witness your vows of love and commitment to one another. Sarah, you have been a blessing to our family for several years now. Preston, we were thrilled when we learned that she had met someone special and that your relationship was beginning to grow. We were so pleased when we met you for the first time and we're blessed to have you in our home. So thrilled when the two of you were engaged to be married and in our conversations and our preparation for this moment, uh, it's been a blessing to hear each of you share how you came to meet, how you came to, to know and to want to spend your lives together as husband and wife. And at the heart of Preston and Sarah's hopes and prayers for their marriage is their desire for their faith in God and their faith in His Son, Jesus Christ, to be at the center of this relationship. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> you look great. Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> you. Oh, I love you. I love you. Preston, do you take this woman to be your wife, to love, honor, and cherish her, and keep yourself faithful to her as long as you both show live? I do. Sarah, do you take this man to be your husband, to love, honor, and cherish him, and keep yourself faithful to him as long as you both show him? I do. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. I, Preston. Take you, Sarah. Take you, Sarah. To be my wife. To be my wife. To love, honor, and cherish you. To love, honor, and cherish you. To keep myself faithful to you. Keep myself faithful to you. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. From this day forward. From this day forward. Hi, Sarah. Take you, Preston. Take you, Preston. To be my husband. To be my husband. To love, honor, and cherish you. To love, honor, and cherish you. To keep myself faithful to you. To keep myself faithful to you. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. From this day forward. From this day forward. By the authority of God who established the bonds of marriage and in accordance with the laws of the state of Oklahoma, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Preston, you may kiss your bride. Sarah and I first met in choir at Tulsa Memorial High School. Sarah and I became close our sophomore year and since then our friendship has only continued to grow. So much so, in fact, that once I had my physician ask me if my then roommate Sarah was my life partner. <laughs> Funny as that was, in all seriousness, Sarah is one of the great loves in my life. She has been my friend, my roommate, my confidant, my co-lover of catchphrase and good dessert, and the aunt to my children. I may not have been born into the Bennett family, but Sarah has loved my children as if they were her own flesh and blood. I met Preston fairly quickly after he and Sarah began dating when she brought him to our house. You know how kids and animals instinctively know a good person? Well, we knew from the get-go that Preston was something special because my daughter Sadie immediately climbed into his lap that night. In the 13th chapter of the first letter to the Corinthian church, Paul writes what we refer to as the love chapter. Love is patient. Love is kind. Sarah has constantly used these words to describe Preston. I think anyone that knows Preston can say the same thing. 
Love does not boast. It is not proud. Anyone even remotely acquainted with Sarah knows that these qualities are ever present in her life. Sarah is so incredibly talented and has every opportunity to be proud and boastful, but she will be the first to downplay her talents. I will boast for you, Sarah. I am so proud of all of your accomplishments, my sweet friend. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. I know you will both protect the hearts of one another. You'll be truthful with one another. You will hope and dream together, and you will persevere through this earthly life together. I have known Preston for many, many years, and I've never met anyone like him. He's the smartest guy I know. He can fix anything and solve any problem. His number is on my speed dial every single time I need to fix something. He's also the kindest and most selfless person I've ever known. He won't ever withhold himself. He will bail you out of every situation and buy you a drink and give you the shirt off his back. He's listened to every crazy idea I've ever had, and he's never called me dumb. And most of these ideas were very, very dumb. But instead, he came alongside me as a friend, and he gave everything he had to make my ideas a reality. I want to close with this charge. Love one another as Christ loved the church. He laid down his life in complete abandonment, even when the church was in a bad mood and didn't give anything in return. Remember, marriage is never 50-50. It's always 100-100. So we raise our glasses to a beautiful marriage to Preston Sarah. Sarah, I could not be happier for my little girl. I only wish the best for you and Preston, and I know you will have a beautiful marriage that will endure forever. Preston, I'm confident you will take care of my little girl. Thank you for treating her like gold. I know in my heart, you are the perfect match. I would like to make a toast. May the future bring you happiness, wisdom, and children so I can be a grandfather. <laughs> Congratulations, Sarah Preston. Almighty Father in heaven, we thank you and praise you for your greatness, your majesty, your love, your mercy, and Father, for showing us how to love. Father, we do thank you that this relationship was, was your idea, that you didn't intend an existence of loneliness for us, but you created us for one another, to live in relationship and to live in community. Father, every good thing we have, every good thing we know is a testimony to you, and so we give you our thanks. We ask every blessing in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son and our Savior. Amen.